I'm here today with Lane Hardesty and Tony Martin. Uh, that we're at Tony's field here with cotton, and he plants a 2050. 3050. Oh, 3050. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. A style of uh, cotton, and we're just asking Tony uh, what he thought about Dragonline. What are some positives? What some negatives? And Tony, you want to share that with us? Oh, the the positives were definitely uh, pivot tracks. You just hardly have any, and especially if you have a heavy sloped field, which I do here, and uh, quite a challenge to keep a. A pivot going in a circle that has you know 500 gallons of uh, water in it and where it, it goes off the and off this the field slope. over here mm -hmm. uh, falls off uh, well the last the half of the machine falls off into a playa yeah. on one side here a little bit it's about a 20 foot drop 20 foot drop <laughs> yeah a bit of slope yeah. a bunch of slope yes. and you have a low line system here that you've adapted to your LDN heads uh, your uh, LDN with uh, UP3s mm -hmm. so you've just That's adapted correct. your dragon line directly to that and you're on 80 inch spacing. Uh, any other advantages you see with uh, Dragon Line? Yeah, your, your, your crop options are, are so much better with, with the way I do this because I'm, you know, I can basically treat it like drip. Where with drip, you know, you're pretty much locked into growing the whole, the whole field, you know, year mm -hmm. after year mm -hmm. because of the expense of install, installing that stuff. So uh, I see that as an advantage. I sure do. Do you see any ex uh, less expense on? planting or less erosion on your soil um, with dragon line versus spray nozzles or bubblers you said bubblers you said the water erosion, ran off yes the irrigation erosion is much less uh -huh. for sure even with bubblers yes oh, way way more than way less than bubblers uh -huh. yeah because bubblers bubblers are supposed to be soft and not right but they run off into the into the pivot tracks and then before the end of the season you've got knee deep tracks <laughs> So yeah, this was an advantage this year to have the dragon line over bubblers even on this little slope here? Absolutely. That's the uh -huh. biggest advantage. Uh -huh. Yes. And that's why I chose this pivot to try because of the, the hard slope going into this play lake. Uh -huh. we've, we've had everything over the years here, you know, big huge tractor tires to everything you can think of trying to keep this thing going in a circle to turning off nozzles uphill and everything in between. Uh -huh. and. This is the only thing so far that's worked. <laughs> you know, we have a lot of people ask us, since we're the designers and developers of Dragonline, how do you ever afford Dragonline? So how do you how do you afford Dragonline? Uh, Saving on tracks, I guess. And uh, that's right. Just efficiency, keeping it going in a circle. Uh -huh. It's stuck. Take a half a day to get it get it out and get it moving again. Uh -huh. Where we should be doing something else. So sure. that's one advantage. Okay. And and production. I mean, it's sitting here for a half a day. You get your sequence out of you know, out of sync with everything uh -huh. else. The cotton that needed water over here right now didn't get it till a day later. Yeah. So increased production for sure. Uh -huh. When you're short of water too, that's even bigger exactly. deal, isn't it? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yep. This this pivot made about ten circles during the growing season, and as you can see, the the ruts are almost non-existent. Is that is that about how the ruts are out in the field too? It, it is. Where? Yeah. They'll be a little deeper on that uh -huh. lower end. Mm -hmm. You know where the mm -hmm. where the rainwater runs off into it, and we run the pivot uh -huh. through the muddy ground. You were but, talking earlier that it sometimes you used to have to bring tractors out here and pull your sprinklers out. Especially growing corn. Yes. Uh -huh. It's a, just a nightmare. Hook a tractor to it and drag it to get it to the next spot. Uh -huh. And until you finally get to the point where you don't even try to go through it, you just reverse it and go around to the other bad spot and start over. <laughs> did, did you have any trouble with uh, tracks this year with getting stuck or anything? Not at all. Not a one. And you use plastic wheels, yes. so they have a little less uh, traction than probably a, a rubber tire does, you think? Right. Yeah. And, and uh, the rubber tires were even worse when we had really, you know, heavy, heavy irrigation season with rain. Uh, on the lower side of this pivot, we'd have, you know, we could have uh, ruts so deep that you'd step down on the base beam. Uh -huh. Oh, goodness sakes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Lower than the surface level of the ground. <laughs> okay. So, okay. It, it's a nightmare. This is much better. <laughs> well, good. Yeah, you don't have much wheel track, that's, that's for right. sure. <laughs> Tony, what do you feel the payback would be on a Dragonline system growing cotton if you had uh, uh, you know, so you were talking maybe you think about 20% increase in yield. What would that take to pay back on Dragon Line? Uh, on this particular pivot, that would be uh, at, at a three bale crop, it'd be, you know, 360 bales. So it'd be about a 72 bale increase. You know, at 70, 70 cent cotton, that's a one year payout. Well, that's that's pretty quick then that's for about quick. anything in the egg business, isn't it? That's right. Okay. Not, not much, many things will pay out in one year. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. You bet. And I had the situation, you know, where if you've if you need one to add more water to increase your yield, you know, well, very often you have another well drilled and what's that going to cost you when you can put on dragon line get, you increase your yield for a right. whole lot less That's money. exactly yeah. right. And in this part of the world, uh, a well is going to be about a $20,000 expenditure 
at the minimum. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And you're conserving water in the in the process. And that's right. Mm -hmm. exactly. When you say a 20% increase, would that be over bubblers or spray nozzles or? Oh, I, I was just comparing the the dragon, you know, the dragon. Yeah, over bubblers. Yes, uh -huh. that's correct. You think that'd be the right. correct statement? Okay. Yes, yeah. that's right. Yep. Alrighty. Bubblers or drag hoses, whichever you use. Okay. Basically the same thing. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you.